Look at that beautiful color. Oh my goodness. Good morning everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I have something super excited for you guys today. I am out in North Carolina today at the Mason Mountain Mine and we are gonna be digging for sapphires, rubies and garnets. We just got started and we already found some beautiful pieces. Check out all of that gemmy rhodolite garnet in this piece. Check out these rhodolite garnets as they come out of the matrix. They are just beautifully gemmy. The color is amazing. All right, I'm already seeing something purple in there. Right on the surface there. Check that out. I'm thinking that's a beautiful ruby right there. Some nice purple reddish color there. Let's check out if this is black light reactive. Look at that. All right, so here we have a pile of native dirt and you just get as many buckets as you like. All the shovels, buckets, screens, all of that is provided here. And that's all right here from the area. It's, it's amazing. It's really blowing my mind. So this is their sluice setup. And then that is where the material is coming from. Just on top of that mountain ridge right there. All right, guys, you can't miss that one. Look at that beautiful red jemmy color. That's a nice chunk of rhodolite garnet. Now check that out, guys. That's another mineral you can find right here at Mason Mountain Mine. Beautiful kyanite. And that is a super nice specimen right there. You got the kyanite blade in the quartz matrix. And then when you turn it around, you have some lovely garnet in there too. Look at that. Oh, I'm already seeing something. Check that out. Right there, you can't miss that one. Super nice color. Beautiful reflection. Look at that. Look at that. All right. That is a beautiful rhodolite garnet. And this is only found right here in North Carolina. And it is just beautiful material. Mm. Another beautiful big ruby right here. Good job. <laughs> All right, guys, check this rhodolite garnet out. It is gemmy as can be. It's beautifully shaped. This screen load has been amazing. I picked out all the rhodolite garnet and there's a tiny little sapphire there. Look at that, really nice. And then I almost missed this big chunk. Look at that ruby. Not the nicest shape, but it's sure got some good color. That's a big, big ruby right there. All right, guys, let's check this ruby out under this black light. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, wow. Super nice. All right, guys, I have something amazing to share right here. Check out that piece of jemmy kyanite. Amazing blue kyanite. Oh man, I'm excited about that find. Look at that. All right guys, it is time for another bucket. I'm right here at a dirt pile. A nice little trick is you can kind of cock the screen here for a second and get that water to rise. All right, let's take a quick first look. And I see a little sapphire right there already. Look at that. It looks like a little cluster of sapphires. 
and they always have that nice shiny surface. Most of the time they're gonna have that blue look. Oh my god, y'all, check out this piece of rhodolite garnet that Jennifer just found. It is beautiful. That is a beautiful jemmy big piece. Look at that beautiful color. Oh my goodness. Oh, and check that out. I think this may be a little ruby or a sapphire. Definitely a little sapphire too. Oh, look at that shine. All right, y'all, I just found my favorite piece of kyanite of the day. It's a little curved blade of kyanite in quartz. It's so adorable. And here it is after I cleaned it in some oxalic acid. That's a super nice specimen. Yep, it's ruby. Nice. You think it's a good one? Oh, so what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna see the light, if it'll penetrate it. Let's see here. Not much. Huh? Not much. There we go. Boom. How many carats is that? I'm gonna say 1100. Really? Mm. Yeah, you wanna Four. make a weight? <laughs> That's nice how it's got the crystal shape yeah, too. Yeah, it's got good shape. It which almost, is a, it almost, which is a good sign. Yeah, but it almost be better not to use it. Maybe just keep it. I mean, well, I know, big, can, right? I know you could sell that. We sell specimens like that up in the shop for like 200 250 dollars. Yeah. That last one I just showed you guys turned out to be almost a thousand carats. So what a find, everybody! Incredible. So I'll go ahead and grab me one more bucket. All right, I got the last bucket of the day here. It's getting close to quitting time. Let's see, maybe we get lucky on the very last bucket. And, oh yeah. Don't even need to finish washing this batch. Look at that, Ruby. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Another one. That's got beautiful color right there. All cool, and it's actually like a crystal. It's got the six sides. Beautiful piece. So check that out. Two nice rubies pretty much in this first batch out of that bucket I just got. That's a good sign right there. Check out that sapphire right here. That is kind of a match to the little ruby I just found. Of course, there's going to be some beautiful rhodolite garnet. That's actually a nice one. Oh, and look at that big one. That's really nice. Look at that beautiful, beautiful color in there. All right, here's that sapphire I just found. And that little ruby right next to it. These kind of seem like a match. Look how cute. What? Check that out. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. Look at that color. That popped out right away. That is so cool. Let's go ahead and take this in the black light and see how it reacts. I think it's going to be really good. Oh my god, y'all, check this out. That is crazy. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh my god, look at it's loaded with chromium. It is really reactive. Check out all these big rubies. Now we have finished the dig and here's a nice little sampling of some of the pieces that we got. Got some nice big rubies, a few sapphires, lots of rhodolite in matrix, 
and of course some individual rhodolite garnet pieces and some beautiful kyanite. So really fun day and beautiful material. And of course we found this beautiful big ruby crystal and I mean it just glows under the UV light. Wow! So it's the chromium inside of the rubies that make them fluoresce. That's amazing! So here are the biggest pieces of rhodolite garnet that we found. As you can see it's got some beautiful colors. And these are beautiful for lapidary work and faceting. This rhodolite garnet was actually mined by a customer and then cut by the owner Tom. And this ring is a 14 karat star ruby that was found right here and then set into gold. So once you find your gemstones you can actually take them to the store and Tom will be able to cut them for you. This is kind of, this is like the prettiest piece I've ever cut. It's got a cat's eye this way and then up and down. It's just a really fantastic piece. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are on our way to the Emerald Hollow Mine right now in Hiddenite. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you'll be the first one to know when we post that video. Thanks so much. Aloha. This is the way that she gotta do it.